Hello there everyone, uh, this is I am Mark 3 and welcome back to Battletech, the adventures of the Mercenary Corporation, Irresponsible Finance. <laughs> I don't know, I still love that name, <laughs> but yeah. We are once again orbiting Smithen. I was going, well, I was planning to do um, a part last week, but unfortunately my cold really wrecked things. So, we're going to be doing it this week instead, because we have to do something intermediate. We have to do something between story missions. And we don't have much choice. <laughs> Putting it mildly. What we've got is a 4 skull and a 5 skull ranking, both of which require 12 days of travel. About the same. One is slightly higher on the maximum pay, slightly higher on the salvage. And slightly higher on the rep, but um, given the sheer difference in pay, I mean, it's, what, 24,000 C bills for an extra skull of difficulty? I don't even know. Still, I've, I've been staring at these two, and I think overall my best choice is probably going to be the five skull, believe it or not. Five skull. Why do I pick this? Because it's an ambush convoy mission, so I need to blow up the moving vehicles. It does it does place a bit of a time limit on me, I have to move fast, but it does mean I can blast a relatively soft target and then get out if I have to. Also, it is in lowlands terrain rather than badlands terrain. Badlands has excess heat, so heat sticks are not as effective. Lowlands doesn't suffer from such a problem and actually has plenty of woodlands for extra coverage. So that's why I'm thinking the logistical breakdown mission is going to be doing it. However, Darius says it best. When I hear unknown number of military units, I get nervous. This could be tough. And it's a five skull, which is not promising. Still, it looks like I'm going to be bound to Mechda. Yes. There is an achievement, by the way. I was just looking... I spotted it on the achievement list, like, a few moments ago. Um, which is negotiate for maximum possible salvage. If I do that, I get 91,000 Z-Bills, but I get four priority picks and 18 outright salvage. Mind you, mind you, a million sea bills almost is nothing to sneeze at, but honestly, every time I've done these secondary missions, it's been like um, I've been focused purely on money. Because money makes the world go round. Money is very much required. That said, though, I am absolutely fine for money right now. I've got 2.2 mil. And I'm going to pop it just because this is a five skull, so there might be some tasty bits of salvage out there. In fact, they're incredibly likely to be some tasty bits of salvage, unless it's some massive light mechs. In which case, I'll be very disappointed. Now, so, off we go. Mechder! Mechder bound. Sadly, though, Glitch is not going to be available for, uh, until nearly a week after we arrive. Oh, excellent. Training module number three. Oh, what the... You happen to be in the mech bay when Hambo approaches Yang with a question. Uh, Chief, I was wondering if you have a any BA 1100Ns in stock. I'd really like to get one installed in my mech. <laughs> Yang looks at you to make sure you're hearing this, then turns back to Hambone and replies with admirable gravity. You don't see those often on the field. Are you sure you want to install a BA 1100N on your battle mech? Yes, sir. Ocean's Age is really improving the mech stability. <laughs> Ask Yang for one from my mech too. Explain the <laughs> prank to Hambo. BA 1100N. Um, <laughs> what, what happens? Uh, I think I've got to explain the prank to Hambone. Uh, oh, I got Hambone's got this. That's enough, Yang. The mech tech looks disappointed, but nods to Hambone. You say, so I should tell you this part on your mech. Part number will look. <laughs> what this number will look like if you write it on a requisition form? Just picture it in your head. BA 1100N. Um, I was actually for a <laughs> um, I should I oh I should have gone with that I should have gone along with it. Low spirits of falling days. I should have let that I should have let that happen. Or I should have asked for one myself. <laughs> that would have been great. I want a balloon in my mech now. Hmm. Or at least have one strapped to uh, have a um, advertisement balloon strapped to one of my mech's shoulders. That sounds like good advertising. Admittedly, the enemy will pop it the first chance they get, but, you know. It's all all in good fun, really. 
well, that's given me a very bright start for the episode, honestly. But hey, what can you do? I really want a balloon on my mech. <laughs> I didn't even, even spot it, so that's kind of why I wanted to, to explain it to Hambone, because I didn't get it either. Got a new financial report for you, Commander. Okay, finances, 550, current funds, 1.6. We are good, and I think we're just over the first part there, so... You know, let's increase to generous. Why not? Also, I forgot... Uh, engineering ship upgrades. I forgot to start a new upgrade going. Don't worry, though. I'll be, quote-unquote, financially responsible. I really want the drive system. 700, 1. Ooh, I can afford that, and I still have next month's operating costs, okay, I think. I'll get the team on it right away. So, yeah. But the key thing is, that's going to reduce my travel time. And unless there's another upgrade that appears, that's going to reduce my travel time to the ma minimum possible. So, I'm still good. Irresponsible finance is living up to standard. Of course. But here we are. We're almost completely out of cash. <laughs> we wouldn't, it wouldn't be one of my episodes in this game if we didn't have a warning saying we're running out of cash. And, um... Well, Glitch isn't going to be available for next week, but we can't wait for it. So, I'm going to say we are ready to begin. Yes, indeed. Sadly, without Glitch, we don't have an LRM specialist around. So, we, uh, I think we're going to have to bench the Centurion. That would have been quite useful for hunting light vehicles, honestly. But, we can take in the Shadowhawk instead with its SRMs. So, Shadowhawk, SRMs. Who will we give it to, though? Sasquatch. I'm thinking Sasquatch because of his extra movement buff. Though, notice I don't have a, a, a spare elite mech warrior. All of my guys... Well, Jaskonius is not, but... Um, I, me, Behemoth, and Glitch are classed as elites because we've got uh, three picks for our skills. So, I think out of the... Um, out of these guys, I'm going to take Sasquatch because of that um, extra evasion. And that's it. Ocean with Bulwark. Probably not the best, especially since we're going to be chasing something, you know? But that'll do. So, let's deploy and hunt us up some vehicles. Might require more firepower than that. We don't have any more firepower. That's the problem. We're going on a five skull mission with three and a half points in drop tonnage. <laughs> this is nuts. Alright, here we go. Destroy the supply convoy and escape. Destroy the convoy guards, which I can regular pirate logistical convoy through the area and believe the convoy is carrying critical supplies to an unknown number of military units. We like to destroy the convoy and any supplies it might be hauling. We have no information on what defences the convoy is likely to have, so assume at least one lance escorting. If so, there is a bonus in it for you if you eliminate the escorting lance. It says destroy the guards anyway. So, oh wait, no, no, no. Solid cross, crosshairs, that means it's a bonus objective. Good. So, plan, shoot the uh, vulnerable things and run away. Sounds like it might be a go, because we don't know what the hell we're going to be against, but it's presumed to be very heavy. So a good vantage point, find out what we're dealing with. Uh, I, I've just realized another problem Oop, that's a catapult, I think. Hmm. I, I, right. I want that salvage. I'd like to salvage some heavy gear, first. if possible. But I know there's at least a catapult over there. Stop the convoy, recon the route. Okay. So. Oh, no. Another problem is we don't have glitch, right? And glitch is our... Well... Okay. May not normally function this way because she's in the back, but Glitch is also our, our um, sensor specialist as well. She's no um, the best by far with our sensors, so... <laughs> I'm going in with basically handicapped sensors as well, since I don't have Glitch with us. I need to work on that. Hmm. Oh, well, at least we've got a rock here which can provide some decent coverage. You know, just stop, just stop the enemy from taking ready pot shots at us. So there is that. But the fact there's a catapult over here, and I think that was a K2 type, 
looked like it had PPCs on it. Which is not going to go great for us. Primary target on screen, Commander. Okay, so who have we found? Do we have? A, we don't even have sensor contact. <laughs> What's going on? Oh wait, there's the escorts. Destroy the convoy. Oh, that's the escape point. Oh, I was looking at the wrong point. So yeah, there is a catapult coming in. Excellent. Roger that. Affirmative. Heading out. There we go. No wonder I didn't have sensor contact over that way. There was nothing there. Hmm. Still, uh, unknown vehicle, unknown big vehicle, unknown mech, which I must be that catapult, and unknown vehicle. Oh, wait, that, no, that's not. That's multiple assault. Grasshopper? First time I've seen one. And the Shadowhawk is getting a, a face full of many things. A grasshopper. Ooh. Well, first time I've seen one in this game, actually. Let's see. Uh, four M's, too large, so quite a lot of lasers. Oh, also, they seem to have updated it. Um, so I can see which turn they'll appear where. Good to go. I forgot about that. There's actually been a UI update since last I played. Let's see. If I move to there, I get a three. However, I get um, limited fire. I'm thinking reserve. So, hang back a little with the Shadowhawk. There is an enemy to move in this turn as well. So I've got... Th I think that's some kind of heavy vehicle. Though the thing is, I also know that they're... Well, maybe maybe I was miss... Maybe I, maybe I didn't see a catapult. Hmm. That's the thought. Maybe I didn't. But still, if I run to here with my... Dragon. I'll, I'll actually have eyes on and I'll be able to see what I'm dealing with. Oh, look! There's more more stuff. Lovely. A Shrek PPC carrier. Ow. My arm! My empty arm! Oh, no. That could still be a catapult, though. But that Shrek is a nasty piece of work. And that's a... Oh, God. A demolisher and... Oh dear. And that means the convoy is further back. Either that or I need to kill the vehicles. I think the vehicles are the convoy, aren't they? Uh, this is bad, to say the least. But that SOM carrier, if it starts to fire, is going to cause some nasty damage. I need to knock it out, like, ASAP. Oh, how did that not kill it? That should have blasted through its forward armor. Oh, one hit the side. Oh. Yep. Massive incoming on the dragon. Oh, God, no. Methinks I don't have enough stuff. Methinks I don't have enough stuff. Hey, oh, I'm pretty sure I don't have enough stuff. <laughs> Especially since that SM carry is going to get uh, a turn very shortly. Yes, Commander. Okay, Sasquatch, if I move you forward, I could throw a lot of fire into that. Commander. If I jump you forward, can I get an angle on... If I jump you forward to there... Oh, uh, I can't fi I can't get a good forest spot without... Hmm. If I go to here, I can fire at the grasshopper or that mech, unknown type. Oh, look, it's a Jäger mech. Oh. ACs, LOMs, lasers. I could do some nasty stuff to the Jäger. Though, actually, the accuracy is really bad here. Even with this evasion, the, the grasshopper, I'm able to hit that better. Locked on. Oh, 
One thing I can tell you for sure is I am not confident in my ability to do this. Oh, oh dear. Oh, here comes the AC-20s. And a, is that... That better not be a knockdown. No, nope, that's a knockdown. Oh, my dragon's off its feet. I wanted it to charge in and melee that Shrek, but... <laughs> nope. Oh, this was a mistake. This was a mistake. Oh, God, no. Something else with a heavy cannon. Sconius, your act intervention is very desirable right now. You can fire pretty well at that. Um, unfortunately, I, I did kind of charge in, didn't I, a little bit. Uh, 50, 60, 45s. You're not going to hit much, are you? But at least you might be able to knock out that SRM carrier. Right, multi-target mode. Go after the SRM. And don't bother with the lasers. Just SRM and gorse into that grasshopper. We need to kill it. Hopefully that the... Um... Oh, thank God. Right. Oh, actually, that, that's... Nope. Never mind. I thought there was firing, attacking at the same time, but I think the LRM, some of them impacted the grasshopper. And that demolisher was only just firing. Much more of this. I really think I need to knock out the vehicles and then what get, the, get the heck out of Dodge. That's really got to be my priority now. So that's a demolisher. That's um, the Shriek. Be there in the gym. I can hit it in the side, roughly. No, no, it's going to hit the front arm, apparently. That's the demolisher. And there's a second demolisher. Okay. Firing full complement on enemy. Oh, that wasn't enough. <laughs> well, I just need to I need to deal with it and then get out of here. Ow. I'm, I think I'm... At I'm very worried I'm going to... Oh, head hit injury. Oh... Yeah, because I gave the dragon that um, head hit armor. There's that catapult. Right arm's lost. There was nothing in it. Alpha. Oh, no. No, <laughs> behemoth. Head hit. Head destroyed. I think that was a kill. Oh, no. This was such a bad idea. Such a bad idea. I cannot even begin to describe such a bad idea. What's your forward armor like? 150. You can absorb everything the Jägermeck can throw at you. Um, I didn't even want to kill this thing. It's uh, almost dead in the side. But this is going to go so poorly for me. Five hit points in the side. Even my small lasers would be able to kill it now. Oh, oh there it is. Right. Uh, target B, turn off the other PPC. Target A gets the small lasers in the side. If one of them hits, it'll kill it. Engaging multiple targets. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contact. Oh, God, no. No, 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 I, none of that, none of that, I don't want more stuff, you've got enough, got no more up. enemy reinforcements, please, oh, jeez, Shadowhawk just got murdered, taken a beating. oh, dear, Victor's going to cover, and opening up again, yeah, I came in drastically undergun for this, I am not fitted, internal damage, Oh, right. I think this is the most irresponsible thing I've ever done in my entire time playing this game, and that's that's playing that's saying a lot, actually. <laughs> is that forest? No. Affirmative. 
I know, I know. It's a short range jump, but it gives a uh, plus two evasion just from doing that. And then I can pump the rest straight into the demolishers front. Copy. Uh, so, you know, 10% extra dodge. Oh, it was only enough to strip the armor out. On the bright side, though, the mechs are holding back a little bit. They're trying to stay in cover to stay away from my mechs. The enemy vehicles, though, are just pushing forward. And I knocked through the... S They've got a lock on me. <laughs> wow. Jaskonia sounded so sad there. They've got a lock on me. She, she was not happy about that. Oh, jeez. Shadowhawk was going down. Oh boy, that's bad. Yep, down goes Sasquatch. Dud. Oh, I took one in the gut. Uh oh. No, my the the location. I don't have any weaponry. No. Uh, I'm okay with that. But they are murdering me pretty quickly, actually. Right, I need to get uh, I need to get my Shadowhawk up off its heavy metal ass. We've got two more tanks to kill. Waiting for orders. Um, and if he stays down, he's going to get call shots. So, yeah, stand up. Okay, the arms are shredded. Back on my feet. If you jump back to here, you can't. You, you lose your line of sight on the demolisher. That's not allowed. We need we need line of sight on the demolisher. Unfortunately, it's the left side that's actually got. Hang on. It's the left side that's got um, the holes in it. Engage this jump. jump. You know, I, w I kind of wish I went all pay on this one now. <laughs> Salvage would have been nice, but I'm not managing to kill anything, Target I don't think. Fun. There we go. All I'm killing is my target vehicles, and then I'm bailing, because I've, I can't even take on the mechs I've got here. And I've got the other mechs coming in down from the other side, so that's that's not going to be good. Enemy Jaeger mech. Oh. No, wait, it's the Highlanders targeting, not the um, Shadow Hawk. The profile looks a bit similar, but no. Highlander, relatively intact no, so far. No, 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 no. <laughs> She's so filled with being shot at. Oh, wow. Okay. Right. Um, if you move to there, you can at least double shoot your PPC straight into the uh, demolisher. Engaging target. One missed, one hit, so that'll weaken the armor at least. We might be able to kill it next turn, and then we have to bail hard. Nice shooting there, buddy. Well, actually, one of the ca one of the shots hit. That's okay. The victor. What are you going to do? Oh, straight into the Agamex face. Ow. <laughs> On the bright side, at least now I know what a... Um, a five skull mission is like. And honestly, there's no, apart from salvage rights, there's no point in me even sticking around to try to get more kills. Because if I, I, there's no point doing it for the money. 90,000 won't get much of a benefit, bonus no matter what, so. Hmm. I'm going to have to go back in the open, but I will get four dodge charges, so. I'll do that, and I'll just empty straight into the demolisher. So I can flatten the demolisher. Uh, why is the why is the evac there? <laughs> why is the evac right there in the middle of the enemies? That is uh, what? Oh, we got an awesome coming in. Even better. Jeez. Commander. Okay, if I sprint you, how far can you get? Uh, pretty far. If I jump you, you can... Well, that Jaegermech is... 
really intact. Oh, the Jaeger's not got, not got much in terms of rear armor, actually. If I was to jump you there, you could just hit it straight in the back, couldn't you? Point blank with everything you've got. Okay, off you go. And yeah, you're going to overheat. Um, I'm going to risk it though. Precision shot. Rear center, 41% chance. All weaponry. Might be able to do it, but it's still got um, 105 structure. 60, 120, 130, 140. Uh, 190. I can do 190. If they, if almost everything hits, I could kill this. I could call this mech out in one blast, but odds are it's not going to happen, isn't it? Aye, aye. Oh, well, I'm going to be in repair bay anyway. Might as well just. Heap damage. Damn it. There we go. Overloaded. That Jagermek, though, is rather badly mauled from behind. Damage looks light, Commander. Well, it's light for you, Draconis. You're in a you're in a blooming assault mech. Oh no, the Jagermek is getting hit in the back. Oh, that was internals. Torso. PPC lost. Ah, this is not worth it. <laughs> Twenty hit points. Look at that thing. That thing is so close to being dead. Uh, if I can only get behind it. No point in using the PPC. Oh, I lost one of the smalls as well. Uh, fire? Shot it in the arm. Of course you did. <laughs> oh, I kind of regret having a... Well, let's be fair. The, normally the double PPC works really well for me on that. I do regret the lack of extra weaponry sometimes, though. And so the enemies are pushing up towards the evac zone, which is where I need to be. And just Konis is about to fall right flat here. on her face as well, I'm pr pretty sure, actually. If I jump, I can jump to here. I've not done anything to most of these guys. Uh, if I jump, I can at least dump an entire... Salvo straight into the grasshopper's face, but I've I've barely even scratched the victor, which is kind of bad actually. Uh, if I jump to there like that, I think the that puts the Highlander almost in reach of getting out of here. But I need to dump effectively all weaponry straight into the grasshopper's face and hopefully do some damage. Nope, nothing like enough. <laughs> oh, what are you... Don't you dare. Oh no, you're hitting the Highlander in back. Okay, that's not so bad. Crunch. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm... This, I'm, I'm just laughing at myself so much for this one. I'm... I severely... Even though I, I was wary of it, I severely underestimated oh what I'd be... Oh, oh, and she's down. I didn't know she was a hypochondriac. Yes, Commander. I, I think that's the name, isn't it? Um, if I go to there, that's in the rear arc. So back aye up aye. a little bit. Then turn off enough so you don't massively blow yourself up. There we go. Got the Taking the shit. Good. I actually managed to kill something. Woo! Salvage! <laughs> but yeah, th there was no point in trying to just belt out straight for the evac because, quite simply, uh, I, I have to get all three of my mechs there. And just Conius being down is going to slow her down immensely. Nope, nope, not left. Oh, don't you dare go for that left arm. I don't like how this is going either, but 
That left arm is where my flipping gorse rifle is. Okay, let's jump. Uh, if I jump to this way. There's been no opportunities to cool my Jägermech off, and that is as it should be. Because this is far too frantic. I will, however, hit the victor in the back. So, you know, a little bit of inaccuracy is all I can do. What's that victor going to... Oh, no, you don't... No. Structure exposed something. Head hit. I'm wounded, Commander. Did the Highlander just take an AC-20 to the face? No, no, it was an arm that got released. And look, left arm, no, left torso. Oh, don't you buggers dare! No. I just realized I'm sitting on the fusion reactor. <laughs> yes, Commander. And every episode, my appreciation for Jasconius goes. She was just taking a massive pummeling, and she's just gone. I just realized I'm sitting on a fusion reactor. Yeah. Just, just stand up, will you, please? And please say you've got your jump jet still available. And we can not quite get there, I think. That might count as being in there, but I don't really know. And oh, that's a Shrek, not an awesome. Okay. Um, my left arm, though, is badly damaged. My, my, the torso armor is also completely shredded, but um, I don't think I have any kind of chance of killing anything, do I? No, not really. Uh, I have to get her out in, get out here and hope it counts. I may regret this. Yes, you might regret this. Ooh, drops in. Okay. And that doesn't count, I think. Oh god. Oh god. We have a we have a king crab. Double AC twenties, large laser, LRM. Oh god no. That is um that is horrifying, actually. Just so you know, I didn't realise I had uh, that kind of machine inbound. Oh dear. Um, shut off two of the lasers. Other than that, hit the ca catapult inside. End of the end of this coming round, though, I will be out of here because I need to m so hang on long enough for Jasconius to move to just, just shuffle over, basically a few steps, so she counts as being in, in, in the uh, circle. Internal damage. Okay, Sasquatch. Good to go. You need to run like the devils on your heels because they really, really are. That should count. Yep, there we go. That's in range. Good. One. High evasion, no cover. Bad combination. I notice you close in to use your machine guns. I'm gonna die. No, you're not. Not. Well, actually, <laughs> you probably are, actually. Uh, you're pretty badly hit, banged up. They just look... My head. Left towards... They uh, up one of my weapons. Left up... Uh, LRM. Uh, just going to your snow. Luckily, I've still got the gorse, but... <laughs> that was a very upgraded LRM that just got blown to scrap. Um, you know what would have been a sensible idea? Actually, just punching out. That would have been probably a much better solution to all of this. Oh, your 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 stability is okay. But if they if they, just Conius is one point off dying. At this point, Engaging target. there we go. Minus five for accuracy. Uh, 
Or is it minus one? I'm not sure which. <laughs> Just don't go for the Highlander, please. No, nope, went for the Jagermech. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> uh, this is so bad. This is so bad. Oh, God, no. It, oh, no. Here comes the King Crab. Uh oh. No, no, no. No, please, no, no. Don't, don't even, no. Whew. My, my pleading. My pleading, no, 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 over and over. Apparently, did it. <laughs> she, she, she withstood that. Almost. Eight hit points left on the CT. But she made it. You say so. I do say so. Run away! <laughs> Run away! <laughs> and technically that was contract successful. But that was such an utter, utter m mistake. Note to self, don't do five schools for quite some time. Jeez. Mission successful. <laughs> uh, the worst part of that is, though, that I lost Behemoth, one of my elites. That was... That was devastating. Okay. Let's destroy the convoy. Failed. That's okay. I only got 91,000 T-bills for that. Got 900,000 T-bills left. Uh, financial irresponsibility. Oh, yes. 9.0. I, I, get, I get a lot of salvage rights, but I didn't really kill much of anything, though. Let's see. Uh, Behemoth killed in action. I lost the cockpit module, of course, which is um, extra injury resistance. They just blasted the head with far too much damage. But the dragon, at least, is salvageable in itself. Everyone else is hurt. <laughs> just going to is going to be out for 51 days. Flip my neck. But, but the mechs are also shredded as well. And I don't have much by way of financial reserves to fall back on. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, but, but yeah, in return for this gamble, I get a piece of a jagger mech. Huzzah, since I managed to knock that thing down. I can get some extra accurate AC-20s. Um, that's a, fair, a highly accurate PPC. Lots of SRMs. Ooh, cop system. Plus two to morale gain, or minus 20 DFA. That comm system, though. Hmm. Increases mild morale generation, so I can use um, accurate things more often. But yeah, I'll take that one. And... I don't know. I mean, modules are really rare. I've, I've struggled to find much of anything in that regard, but t minus 20 DFA self damage. E and especially returned for three slots and four tons. That is. Um, hmm. Don't really think that's worth it. Some of the modules are just bad, honestly. But I guess I'll get uh, an extra accurate AC 20. And I'll take the stability damage AC20 as well. So, there we go. And I get a bunch of other stuff. So I get LRMs, I get lasers, I get PPCs, I get a load of SRMs. I get, I get a few, only a little bit of ammunition. I got a ton of salvage though. 4.6 million credits worth. I'm going to have to sell some stuff though, honestly, I think, to make this repair work. And even better news, Lady Irana's contract to liberate House Gallus is ready for review in the command centre. We should follow it when you think we're ready. I don't think we're ready. <laughs> Depends what it is. Uh, oh dear. Especially with the, the loss of Behemoth. But yeah, casualty, Behemoth has died. Uh, do some mech repairs. Ev yeah, everything is completely junked. And luckily we do have a whole bunch of experience. So we've got a lot of rookies we can bring in. So there is that, I suppose. Uh, Jasconius, though, did survive, even if she's going to be out of action for a long, long time. So, sadly, I've, I have been maintaining the pace for quite a while, doing one priority mission per week. But this much damage is going to be an absolute bugger to try and fix. So, I don't think I can do that. Not this week. Hmm. There's also mentioned that there's going to be, like, a... A mem ah, here we go. Memorial Wall. Okay, so... Hit in the head by an enemy catapult. So, yeah, she was... That was... 
it seems to have changed to some um, somber reflective music now so yeah but this is a new addition the memorial wall as you can see Decker was our first casualty lost in a misadventure unfortunately because my four others were lost before um, yeah, before uh, this thing was actually put in. That means it didn't record some of the stats for it. So I can check some other details, though. Like, I can look at the exact things. Lost in a misadventure. We know for a fact that he was lost because his locust got shredded by enemy fire. So there was that. Medusa. I, f I forget what how Medusa was lost. Though, 15 deployments, 10 injuries hurt. I think just got badly hurt. The music's actually a lot stronger in this bit than anywhere else. Hmm. Trigger, I think she was the one that was in the... Um... No, that was Sam Knight. No, it wasn't. It, it was Trigger. Trigger, Lori Oryov. Trigger was lost when an enemy uh, victor... No, not victor. Darn it. Was it a victor? When an enemy medium mech punched the head straight off her of her the Shadowhawk she was riding in. So that's how we lost Trigger. Sam Knight. I think just got a, ate, ate far too many missiles and got blown up. So yeah. <laughs> but um she was after I started using ejections to try and save my mech warriors. So Injuries five, deployments twelve. And then Behemoth. Look at this. Everyone else is like um, around 10 to 15 for the most part. Behemoth, 28 deployments. Hurt 15 times. 25 mech kills. 17 vehicle or turret kills. Never ever ejected. She's she hung tough. And brawled her way to hell and back more times than I can count. Oh well, wow, there's really a dramatic flare going on in the background there. Oh dear. <laughs> but she's actually she put her criminal past behind her. But unfortunately, on day 571, Behemoth was hit in the head by an enemy catapult PPC. They should have included that that it was a PPC, and unfortunately, it blasted the head clean off of her dragon, and so she died. <sighs> so the memorial wall is a nice touch. I just wish it had the um, some of the stats. Oh. It is understandable since it didn't have that stuff. The mech bay, though, is going to be an absolute nightmare. On the bright side, this means I can take the ghost rifle out of the arm on the Highlander. <laughs> so there is that, I suppose. But still. I, I could deploy after partial repairs. I just definitely can't deploy much. Let's check my contract list really quick, actually. This is going to be a slightly shorter episode, but can't be helped. Let's see, uh, there's two and a half skull mech factory. Uh, no, we, we need to check this. Um, to Itrom, priority mission. Proceed to Itrom, where you will assist the rest of the army's efforts to liberate House Gallus. The enemy will be fighting from a position of relative isolation. To take advantage of this, we suggest a lance loadout built to maximize rapid damage dealing potential. Heat management should also be essential. Further details will be provided upon your arrival. So, I've heard stories about your trauma, Sunny. Half of the planet is supposed to be nice. The other half is toxic, irradiated desert where the sensors and communications don't work properly. Guess which half you'll be fighting on. I'll be fighting on the nice half. My mech warrior's going to have a day at the beach or something. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, this is going to be nasty, I can tell already. Still, there's money, which is good. Um, though, that said, I have to do some bread winning missions just to get things back operational. Like, I think I should prioritize... If I really have to, I can just fix half of the um, Highlander, can't I? I'll check the refill list. I can fix it up so it won't blow up the first time an enemy sneezes at it, because, you know, eight hit points on the CT, that is really bad. Uh, especially with the left torso gone, because if any hits the LT would go straight into the CT and blow the structure out immediately. <gasps> oh no! This this Highlander has double heat sinks. I did not even know that it had that. 
Just hope one's not been blown up. Uh, doesn't look like it. Let's replace that. Yeah, we lost a double heatsink. I can't replace those. Oh, no. Yep. Yeah. Our Vajasconius does deserve the comm system, I think. So I'm thinking of giving her that straight away. But we lost a double heatsink. There are two missile slots there, though. Uh, LM20 and SRM6. Uh, that's where they both were. Three support weapon hard points, though, in that side. Hmm. Gorse rifle stuck over here. Um, double ballistic hard points. Ooh, shiny. This is the first time I've, I've actually had a look under the hood of my Highlander. Because it's also the first time it's actually got damaged. And it got damaged in spec... Well, internally damaged, I mean, in the, to the point where it needed replacing parts. It's only, to, it's only got so much of a scratch until now. There is, if I take out the gorse rifle, there's just enough room for two AC-20s. <laughs> Tempting. If I take those off, um, let's have a look. Uh, if I put that one there, and then I can put that one. <laughs> Double AC-20s. <laughs> oh, ouch. <laughs> what an interesting loadout that would be. Hello, look at my arm. It's got two autocannon 20s in it. Have a nice day. Boom. Mm, that would that would be very tasty, that. Unfortunately, uh, the AC-20 stuff are refire penalties. I think I need a... Uh, I'm going to have to put, patch my mechs back together off camera, unfortunately. But let's see, mech warriors. Uh, let's find just Conius. Right yep, you are right here. You're not sitting on your fusion reactor for once. Unfortunately, uh, where's the refire? I think the refire is under guts, isn't it? Yeah, recoil penalty reduction is under guts. So if I want to fire t the ACs turn after turn, I need... Well, uh, for, for AC-10s, I think it can be managed with minus one. AC-5 doesn't seem to suffer, if I recall correctly. But I think I need to be up here for minus two. So the ACs will not be able to fire constantly. Still... Uh, toughening up just going is just going to be good anyway. You know, help her survive since she's the most valuable member of my team. Or at least she's the one I like the most. Uh, but she's also able to now get this one, which is um, can fire and then move. So that, that will help the Highlander keep dodging around. But the repair bill is massive and I'm not sure where I'm going to go with this so maybe a double AC-10 that might be nice regardless though this has been Iron Mark 3 thank you all very much for watching hope you guys have enjoyed this absolute mess of a show this time around because that was absolutely horrible and I'll catch you all some other time when I've managed to slap my lance back together into at least serviceable shape and we can go on another contract we're probably going to go with uh, this mech factory one. It's only a two and a half, but it's going to pay some vitally required money. So, yeah, there we go. See you all later.